sex abusers can dial up your child. Perry Peltz joins us now with her special report called Software Hard Porn. Perry? Chuck, computer technology has opened up all kinds of communications possibilities. Most of them are productive, but there's also a little known dark side that I'm going to show you. First, a warning. You may not want children to see this material, which is the point of these reports. I, I, I bought him out at 11, unless he's an old-looking kid. This undercover tape shows two men planning to sexually abuse and murder children to make a so-called snuff film. I want to watch him talk, so watch his eyes talk. I want to make him jump, and I want to make him struggle. The men were stalking their victims not on the streets, but through computer bulletin boards. A computer bulletin board is the electronic equivalent of any bulletin board where messages and pictures can be exchanged. We'll have more about sexual abusers using the bulletin boards later. But first, here's an idea of the pictures your child can see for the price of a phone call. As distasteful as these are, even with editing, there are some we can't show you. But your child can see them easily. How easily? Any child who is computer literate and has access to a computer and a modem can conceivably get a hold of pornographic material. Bruce Fancher is co-owner of a bulletin board and doesn't accept this kind of material, but he told us how simple it is to start a bulletin board and put on anything you like. It's very, very easy to set up a computer to answer the phone and store whatever type of files you want, be it pornography, text, anything. And there are some people making a great deal of money doing this. And even a responsible board owner may have trouble screening material. It's quite difficult to control the material because of usually the volume of material. Uh, a private bulletin board operator could probably spend 50 hours a day screening material if it's an extensive bulletin board. Unless children are used in the sex scenes, which turns the pictures into child pornography, showing this stuff is perfectly legal. So what's so wrong with these pictures? It may all seem like the 90s version of children looking at dirty pictures and hiding them under the bed. But much more sinister is the fact that pedophiles looking for children to abuse use these bulletin boards, too. It's another way for the pedophiles to meet uh, young boys or girls and eventually hoping to have a uh, sexual relationship with them. And the defendant caught up to him and dragged him into a uh, ditch that was along a path. At this point, the, uh, the child was struggling and the defendant removed the child's clothing, orally raping the child. Tomorrow, horrifying stories about child abusers that every parent should be aware of. And why is this material allowed to be posted on computer bulletin boards? Sue, Chuck, right, Thank you.